I've been homeless. I wanted to give my life up. I have had everything thrown at me, but I rose above it because I know who I am inside. The question is, do you know who you are inside? The challenge for many of us is that we got to see past our present pain and into the fruitfulness of the future. This life is short, you know. If you get into something, get into it. And if you're not into it, don't be into it. A lot of people have a hard time defining themselves. They define themselves by failure because they failed. You're not your failures, you're you. You would not settle if you could see what was on the other side of hanging in there. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap of feeling like you're a victim. If you came from a place where you had nothing, that's everything that you need. I need you to focus on why you were born in the first place. Why are you here on earth for this particular time? What are you doing here? Those people who dream big have a different kind of life than the people who don't dream. There's still time, never settle, there's still time. What are you working on right now? Because sometimes in life, all you got is that one thing. You are on a journey. So you are what you are in this world. That's either one or two things. Either you're somebody or you're nobody. The trial, the tribulation, the adversity, the giant is not your assassin. The giant is your opportunity. Are you going to complain in the face of conflict or are you going to seize the opportunity? You can't stay down. No, no matter what is thrown your way, you got something called combat power. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. The champion is the one that never lets the sun catch them sleeping. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. I'm a winner. I'm going to win. It takes grit. It takes sacrifice. It takes time. And no matter the losses, no matter the circumstances, you don't give up on your life. You keep living. You keep fighting. Stop dreaming and start chasing. But most importantly, you got to become. Aspire to make a difference. Even when you feel like, no, I can't be hit this hard. No way I can get up from this. That's when you're just starting. Some of you don't even realize you have unfinished business. You need to go back where you left off with a new perspective. Go back to the gym. Go back to the drawing board. Go back to the business. Go back to the relationship. Go back to the burning building. You have unfinished business. All you got to do is show up with a new game plan and a new perspective. You got to finish business. You have unfinished business. You got work to do. Perspective is everything. Let's go. I need you to hear me loud and clear. How you see this thing is everything. You cannot change the past, but you can change your perspective about it. You got to see this thing differently. Stop complaining about the divorce. Stop complaining about the job loss. Stop complaining about the relocation. Your viewpoint is your advantage. Thank you for breaking up with me. Here's what you did. You opened up another opportunity for somebody else to come into my life. Thank you for firing me. You gave me an opportunity to explore entrepreneurship. I'm not bitter, I'm better. Perspective is what changes the game. Here's the deal. If you get to the top of the tree, all the fruit from the bottom at the top is going to be there, son. So I don't need you focusing on cars and money and stuff. You're going to get that. 
I need you to focus on why you were born in the first place. Why are you here on earth for this particular time? What are you doing here? You need to tell you that you owe you something. I don't want nothing from you but for you to leave this room and know what you want. What do you want in your marriage? What do you want with your son and your daughter? What do you want in your health? What do you want financially? Like how much money do you want to make a year? What do you want to drive? How do you want to live? Stop just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. The reason why I speak with so much passion, ET, why do you speak with so, uh, so much authority? Because I'm talking about my life, not something that I read. I ate out of trash cans. You ain't got to start with the two-parent background. You ain't got to start with wealth. You ain't got to start with your parents graduated. It's not the hand that you dealt. You got rich kids who own drugs. You got rich kids who committed suicide. You got rich kids who, who don't know their purpose in life. It's not the hand that you was dealt, baby. It's how you play your hand. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Every opportunity, I'm still nervous. E.T., you've been doing this for years. Why are you so nervous? Because the day you become content. The day you stop evaluating yourself, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die, is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. And I ain't where I want to be and I'm like, God, I ain't where I want to be. And he was like, you stop being a victim. I said, what you mean a victim? Well, it ain't my fault my mom got pregnant at 17. It ain't my fault my daddy wasn't there. It ain't my fault they couldn't get along. It ain't my fault. He said, boy, you, you grown. You ain't 10 no more. You, you, the decisions you make right now is up to you. You crying about something that happened to you when you was a kid. You ain't even no kid no more. You a grown man. Take full ownership. The stupid stuff you doing, your parents didn't make you play no video games. What you crying about? So what your daddy wasn't there? Your mama ended up getting married. What you crying about? He went to work every day. He never beat you. He never abused you. Your mama did the best she knew how to do. What you crying about? You grew up in a house. What you crying about? You've been lazy your whole life and now somebody told you you could make six figures and you go knock on the door a hundred times and your body say you a lie. You ain't never gave 100%. And in order to knock on the door 100 times, you're going to have to get 120. Get up out of here. You can't do this. And you're going to have to fight and fight and fight and fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new new. Your mind has to seek discomfort. It has to seek these difficult tasks. You have to enjoy it. And you have to figure out a way to make your mind enjoy those things. And some people it comes easy and some people it doesn't. Some people, some people it takes a long time. I always tell people the best thing you could ever do is force yourself to a schedule. Just write it down. Like today I have to do an hour on the treadmill. I have to do an hour, no matter what. Even if you're walking on it, you're doing an hour on a treadmill. The next time you're going to do it, just make, okay, you did an hour and this is the amount of miles you got in. Next time you're going to, you know, add three miles, put, put an extra three miles in that one hour and just keep doing things like that. Write down today. I'm going to do a hundred pushups and I'm going to do a hundred sit-ups and I'm going to do a hundred chin-ups. That's today. And then force yourself, force yourself to adhere to a schedule, make a Monday, Wednesday, Friday workout schedule. Give yourself some time off, you know, like don't, don't even crush yourself to the point where you can't do it. Make it so that you really appreciate those Tuesdays and Thursdays. But on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're going to f***ing get after it. And this is what you're going to do. Most people just try to go work out. And you're kind of aimless. And you show up. And you're like, you pick up the jump rope. And you jump a little rope. Maybe you hit the heavy bag a little bit. Maybe you do some curls. But you don't really have an aim. That's why people like to hire trainers. Because a trainer will tell you what to do. Well, you can tell yourself what to do. If you don't have money for a trainer, you don't even have to have fucking equipment. You know, with body weight squats, sit-ups, chin-ups, push-ups, you could give yourself a brutal full body weight workout. And you could find these for free on YouTube. There's a ton of them. There's a ton of these body weight workouts you could do. Just force yourself. Write it down. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to do 100 push-ups. I'm going to do 100 chin-ups. I'm going to do 100 sit-ups. Even if it takes me off the day. Even if I have to do 10 and 10 and 10 and keep going all day, just that's what you do. Do 10 push-ups, take a break for 20 minutes, 
do another 10. But get those 100 in. I don't believe in half-assing things. I don't, I'm not, this life is short, you know? If you get into something, get into it. And if you're not into it, don't be into it. And I think that insanity and, and greatness are next door neighbors. And they borrow each other's sugar. That's, that's <laughs> my, <laughs> that's what I've always said. There's, there's something about mastery, like true mastery, uh, that requires you to shut off massive areas of your life. There's a lot of people that are scared of their ability to do something that's difficult. I don't know if I could force myself to, to be disciplined. I don't know if I could force myself to take that kind of action. Well, if you do force yourself to take that kind of action, you don't have that question anymore. That question, I don't know if I can do it. Well, you're doing it. So you obviously can do it. Can you do it tomorrow? Well, you can do it today. Or can you do it tomorrow? Just do it. You get so much more benefit out of a, dis a struggle that you choose to embark in versus a struggle that life throws upon you. Get out there and go and do something. Just go, just go. And then in the middle of doing it, it'll become easy. Even if it's not easy, even if it's hard, it's easier than not doing it and wishing that you had done it. It is time for you to show up. It is time for you to show out. And there will be obstacles that you must face. And for each obstacle, it will represent something about you. Your greatest victories, your greatest failures. But nevertheless, you must rise above it and you must conquer every obstacle that comes your way. Are you strong enough? Are you willing enough? Do you have what it takes? to do what's necessary to adapt and overcome. So while you fighting and you calling to get to the next level, let me tell you something. If you're a person out there buying, trying to buy your way to the top, I'm gonna let you know something, King and Queen. You can't buy a legacy. This you must earn. See the big dogs! They won't give you the opportunity. You're gonna have to take it. You're gonna have to sleep in your car. You're gonna have to sleep on that floor. You're gonna have to cry them tears. But we're not gonna be crybabies. We're gonna be lions. You know when a lion is injured, when a lion is bleeding, he licks his wounds and he keeps walking but the time has come for you to succeed for you to believe for you to stand tall for you to understand that you got a mission and your mission is not done yet today is that day and when and if tomorrow comes for you be even more powerful be stronger than you've ever been rectify in yourself believe in yourself keep that faith in yourself don't let the outside interference stop your growth don't let those that doubted you and said that you did not have it hold you back. Don't let the losses keep you down. Because if you're down, how would you understand what it means to get up? What is good about being miserable? Resurrect yourself from the pit of darkness because misery doesn't have the right to control your life your mind your abilities your faith within yourself is all that you need the steps that you take in your life it's a process within itself it won't be easy, 
but you don't deserve easy. Easy is not something that you should be looking for. Embrace all of the challenges that are necessary. But you continue to fight for it. You continue to believe in yourself. When the rest of the world says no to you, you say yes to yourself. You say yes, I believe. You say yes, I can do it. You say yes, nothing can stop me. Let it be known within you. Because no matter what's happening, no matter what's going on around you, you are responsible for what you think within you. Your mind does matter. And if you put the wrong things inside of your mind, the best things won't come out. The best of you won't show up. Because you allowed everything around you to destroy you. To destroy your dreams. And your dreams are limitless. They never die. There's going to be a lot of things swimming beneath your feet. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to try to drag you down. But you're not in the business to drown. You're in the business to live. Do not starve yourself from the beauty of life. You must have the ability to nourish your mind. You must have the ability to nourish your soul. If you want to be great, oh man, prepare to get up off that mat. The aspirations, the dreams, of what it takes, the commitment to hard work, but more importantly, how many lumps you've got to take. That's when your your survival skills have to kick in and hopefully you've trained enough in, in, in your mental preparation and really believe enough in yourself to get up. Because, you, you know, everybody, I think we always uh, said, the easiest thing to do is hold that trophy. That's the easiest thing to do in this process. And that's only going to be for a very short amount of time. The work, the will, the commitment. Like I said, getting up, not getting up when you're knocked down. I mean, you know, throughout Kobe's career and Michael's career, LeBron's career, Dwayne's career, Magic Johnson's career, there's always going to be these struggles that or, or challenges that you have to get over and the hardest part is in you trying to be one of the best in the game there's going to be a tension with it right you're put on a pedestal and you fall even harder to learn how much you have to prepare you have to live it you have to want it so bad to where you'll sacrifice those Saturday nights or Friday nights with your friends live your life like you're the hero in your movie and right now pretend you're in the part of the movie that starts and it shows you as a loser if I gotta fight to get you in the gym that's a problem I'm just saying, for real, some of you broke and you still entertained. 
I'm talking about those of you who are complaining about your job. You ain't got no money and you sitting here complaining about, but then you watching all the TV programs. I'm never going to feel like doing the things that are tough or difficult or uncertain or scary or new. So I need to stop waiting until I feel like it. We all have a habit of hesitating. The idea isn't going to execute itself. And, and the book isn't going to write itself. And the, the weights out in the gym, they're not going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. But there's a motherfucker out there who wants what you have. Who wants the position you are? Who wants the job you have? Who wants the wife that you have? Or the husband? There's someone out there hungry and wants everything you can have. But if you're lazy, man, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with you. You're going to make me feel dumber. You know, you're going to lower my level. I don't think so. The reason why you're so lazy is not because you don't have the ability. You're so lazy because your dream's so small. I believe in myself every day. I know I make mistakes. I know I'm not perfect. But I am not lazy. You can keep sleeping. I'm going to keep working. They say things like, I'll start Monday. It's not my fault. It's not fair. I'm too damn tired. Or my personal favorite, I don't have enough time. They have a loser mentality through and through. And until they recognize that the problem is them, they'll never improve. I know many talented people who had a great deal of potential, but they never realized their greatness, and they will end up going to their grave with all their good stuff still in them. You will be tested, and how you face that test, and how you overcome that test, determines the rest of your life. You got to have something that is inside you, something that fires you up, something that drives you, something that gives you more power than you've ever had in your life. Your life comes down to your decisions, and if you change your decisions, you will change everything. The best of the best, they don't sleep, they keep working. But what are you going to do? Where do I start? And, and when's the best time to start? I have a very simple answer for that. Here and now. At some point in life, you will lose your balance and fall for the first time. Get back up and try again. At some point in life, you will fall for the second time. Get back up and try again. At some point in life, you will fall for the third time, fall for the fourth time. Get back up and try again. Falling one time is not a failure. It's the start of your journey. The pain of failing is temporary. It will not last. No matter how many times you get knocked down, you get up again. Get knocked down for the fifth time. Get back up and try again. There are no quick fixes in life. Anything of real worth will take struggle and perseverance. Success is a journey. What is most important, that one simply does their absolute best and remains persistent. We learn little from victory, much more from defeat. Stay focused. Even if you fall 1,000 times, you just keep getting up and trying again and again and again. Your start does not determine how you're going to finish. Every day is a new opportunity to reach that goal, to reach that dream. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of yourself and of what you are aiming to achieve. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. That little extra a day. I fall down six times, I get up and try again. I fall down seven times, I get up and try again. We all start standing. Standing on our own two feet. Standing for what we believe in. Standing for what is right. Standing for our loved ones. And standing for those who can't stand themselves. Even if it means standing alone. Keep your head up. And keep your feet on the ground. Because your life is dependent on it. And whatever you want to accomplish, you must empty your heart and your soul into it. You must believe when others say you cannot. You must go when your heart is telling you to stop. 
power, authority, guidance, patience are God's gift to us as men. We have to cherish that, not abuse it. I prayed this morning to be a better listener. It didn't work so well. <laughs> It's we're human. You get back up. Yes, I've been high up on the mountain. I've been blessed. But that's a slippery slope. Yeah. And it's lonely up there. Yeah. You know, people don't know that side. We did not come this far to just break down and lose now. I'm a winner. I'm going to win. True desire in the heart, that itch that you have, whatever it is you want to do, that thing that you want to do to help others and to, to grow and to make money, that desire, that itch, that's God's proof to you. Sit beforehand already to indicate that it's yours. Aspire to make a difference. So you are what you are in this world. I think the one or two things. Either you're somebody, Nobody. Never give up. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. It's not easy. If it were easy, there'd be no Denzel Washington. So, keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So, keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work. While it may be frightening, it will also be rewarding. So you gotta get out there, you gotta give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. Because taking risk is not just about going for a job. It's also about knowing what you know and what you don't know. It's about being open to people and to ideas. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Because the chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. So how will you show up on game day? Instead of feeling down about your situation, try to figure out what you can do to create positive momentum for yourself. Even at your lowest point, even at your lowest moment, there is something that you can do to create a small win. Now your small win might not be the same as my small win. Your small win might simply be getting out of the bed. Your small win might be going to the gym. Your small win might be making one more phone call or getting up an hour earlier to put in some extra work. You have to believe that you control your destiny. Don't put that responsibility on anyone else but you. Something is happening. Something is taking place. The seeds that you've sown, they are still working for you. The time and energy you sacrifice, they are not in vain. When you plant a seed, which is really your goal, you have to nurture it. You have to protect it. You can't do one set of crunches and expect to have a six pack. 
You, you've got to show up every day. You've got to show up day after day. You've got to show up when you're motivated. You've got to show up when you're feeling unmotivated. You gotta show up when everyone is behind you. And you gotta show up when it feels like everyone is against you. You gotta show up when you feel like you're winning. And you gotta show up when you feel like you're losing. It's your time and it's your turn. But you're gonna have to be willing to endure the temporary struggle. You're going to have to be willing to deal with the negative chatter in your head because it's not going away. You gotta manage it. You gotta confront your fears. You gotta confront your doubts. Success is not going to be handed to you. Nobody owes you anything, but you owe you everything. You owe it to yourself to hang in there when it gets hard. You owe it to yourself to get up every day and grind. You don't have time to focus on what other people are saying. You don't have time to focus on what other people are doing. Experiencing a failure feels like a loss, but it's not. Failure is your teacher. It's working for you behind the scenes, preparing you for your next win. There is no time like the present to fight for what belongs to you. Your toughest moments are preparing you for your biggest victories. Go after what you want and expect to get it. When you are serious about hitting your goals, you don't quit when it gets hard. I don't care how many times you've tried, try again. I don't care how many times you've heard no ask again. I don't care how many times you fall. Get up. You don't stop when you get frustrated. You pursue for as long as it takes. So I have a question for you. Are you disciplined enough to keep going? You've been an underdog in your relationships. If you've been an underdog in the weight room, if you've been an underdog in life, if you've been an underdog financially, I'm talking to that person who grew up without a father. I'm talking to that person who grew up without a mother. I'm talking to that person who didn't grow up with handouts. I'm talking to that person who maybe if you did grow up with a little bit of handouts, but maybe you were misunderstood and you were overlooked and you were undervalued and you were mishandled and misguided. You got a dream to buy a house. You got a dream for better relationships. You got a dream to, to win a fight. You got a dream to get your family out of the hood. You got a dream to lose weight. I mean, whatever that dream is, whatever you have, that goal, that improbable feat, once you get it set, once you smell that, once you get a feel for it, a taste of it, and, and the underdog is, is an individual who, who refuses to live in the dark. Okay, they refuse to remain in obscurity. They refuse to live in stress and overwhelm and anxiety. They are somebody who is tired. Like when you come to the end of yourself, you got to get tired. Like you have to get tired. Tired. Something inside of you has to snap. You got to get tired of being broke. When you get tired of being coined the loser, being coined not enough, being overlooked and undervalued and underpaid, you got to get tired of that. When you get tired, that's when you win. The underdog is a person that comes out on the playing field and says, okay, I've been in this place of pain my whole life. I've gone without for so long. This is the day you make up in your mind where I will take the throne. I'm talking to that person that is acquainted with pain. I'm talking to that person that knows what it's like to come from nothing. And so you literally have nothing to lose. And the only thing that's in your hand is a dream. The only thing that's in your head is I have what it takes to get to the top of that hill because I am not the wolf on the hill. I am the wolf climbing the hill. I have nothing to lose. Counted out, overlooked, undervalued, misguided, betrayed, 
somebody who has been really dishonored, disrespected, somebody who has lost everything, who people stop believing in, is a very desperate person. They're climbing a hill. They're trying to achieve a dream. And when you are desperate, you are very dangerous. And a dangerous man or woman is somebody who is a disruptor. They don't play by the rules. They are coming for blood. One of the best things you can ever do in your life is to change your words. I said one of the best things you can ever do in your life is change your words. There's a scripture in the Bible in Proverbs that says death and life are in the power of the tongue. In other words, your tongue, your words have the ability to shape your world. I said your words has the ability to shape your world. You can either speak death over your life or you can begin to speak life over who you are. And you've got to get to a place where you stop talking death and start talking life. You got to get to a place where you say, you know what, I got to stop talking about what I don't have and who's not here and what someone didn't give me. I got to stop talking death and I got to start talking life. Your world is a result of words you have spoken. When you look at your life, I promise you there is a connection between the life you live and the words you have spoken. And I challenge you right now, yeah, you got to get to a place where you start speaking what you want to see. You got to say what you want to see. You got to say, I want to be rich. I, I want to be wealthy. I want to build legacy. I want to be healthy. I want to have a good marriage. Matter of fact, just say I am. I, I am blessed. I am favored. I am healed. I am set free. I am victorious. I am an overcomer. I am overcoming these challenges. I am debt free. I am a powerful person. I am a spiritual person. I am a blessed man. I am a blessed woman. You got to speak not what you see, but what you want to see. Failing has become critical in my growth. I had fallen so flat on my face for the first time in my life. I was depressed, asking myself why, why, why me, how can this happen? I work so hard, hard work pays, I always thought, it's not paying for me, I got nothing. I literally had seven bucks in my pockets. My seven dollar story that failure rising from that to say it's not over for me i'm immediately going to launch myself into training for professional wrestling i couldn't have launched myself with that type of training that i did every day for hours in a boxing ring that was stiff like concrete every day for hours i couldn't have launched myself with that type of mentality had i not fallen on my face after 10 years of football, failed. A failed football player who wound up moving back in with his parents at 24. You're moving from point A to point B in your little circumscribed world. You've made everything invisible. And as long as that works, then your theory's good enough. It's accurate enough. It's true enough. You're in your little paradise. But if something comes up and objects, well, that's where your character is tested fundamentally. That's the character test. It's like, what do you do with messages of error? Don't second guess yourself. 
and don't be so afraid of failing that you create excuses instead of producing results. Failure is designed to teach you a lesson. Keep pushing forward and learn from the failures and move forward with a purpose. Because you can look up and days, weeks, months, years can go by and you can go, I've been tiptoeing around here, not committing to anything for so long, I'm missing out. Sometimes it's not even about what choice we make, just make a choice and commit to it and go and dive in. You're all right, man. You're okay. Learn from it, don't dwell on it, move on and go do something really positive in the world. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I want to go to the dealership and buy the best car. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Australia. I, want, I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. Will a real Eric Thomas please stand up? Some of you in the room right now, you are where you are. You're giving 60% when you have 120 in you. Why? Because you never made a decision. Shh, there are those of you in this room. You already there. Your problem is this and stuff. You don't want to give up to go. You're talented. You just don't want to give up sleep. Listen to me, pound for pound, any agent in the room, pound for pound, motivational speaker, pound for pound, entrepreneur, pound for pound, athlete, pound for pound, weightlifter, pound for pound, whatever you do, I guarantee you when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself than your dream, than your goals. Watch what happens when you have a goal that only has two reasons. See how long that lasts. Watch a goal that has 50 reasons and see how you... There's some, somebody called me the other day on an interview, stupid question. E.T., what do you feel like on the days that you don't feel like? I said, ask, ask the question again, please. Well, what do you do on the days that you don't feel like I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm way past that. Every day I feel like. Every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving my wife the best life. Every day I feel like driving in a nice car. Every day I feel like flying first class. Every, every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred to the, Every single day, somebody said yesterday, ET, you gave 120, what you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know, get 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. No more 50%, no more. No more 70%, no more. I want us at 85 to climb. I want you at 85 and climbing. If you're at 80, I want you at 90, and I mean moving rapidly. It's not rocket science. And the universe is not responding to you correctly because your body level sucks. Your spirit sucks. It's defeated. I need you to give me that 120. I need you to give me that everything you do. I need you to start giving me that 120 in everything you do. Bring it all, all together. Bring all the energy, all the passion. Bring it all together and dominate. I can get through this. I will get through this. I must get through this. The days you're not plugged in are the days you don't get 120. Too much to accomplish to be satisfied with where I am right now. I have too much on the line. I have too many people depending on me to win. I must stay hungry. You want to kill an alligator? You kill it right after it eats. Because right after it eats, it gets satisfied. And it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, are you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done and now you chill it? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? Next hundred, I need you to stay focused. Why? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? I'm a contender, but the next hundred gonna change my life. 
You're gonna change this world. We're ordinary people doing extraordinary things. If that's you and you feeling me, just say I can. Yeah. Come on, come on, I can. I can. I can. Come on, one time. I can. Yep, I will. I will. Yep, I must. I must. All right, all right. You will study any animal in the animal kingdom, and I will tell you this: that the lion is king because the lion is hungry. The elephant is bigger than the lion. And the sheet is faster than the lion. But nobody is more hungry than the lion. Go ask any athlete, actor, musician, philanthropist, it doesn't matter. You ask anybody who is a champion. And the difference between them and their opponent is they were more hungry for it. If there's anything I can pour from my heart in this moment, my greatest piece of advice is to protect your hunger! You feel so lost. You feel alone. You feel ashamed. You're concerned about what people are thinking about you right now. You feel that you have no way out. You feel that you can't go on. This idea that you have of yourself makes you feel that you're not alive anymore. It's like walking the earth with no sense of knowing your truth. The mistakes that you've made in your life, you feel that you can't come back from it. But I'm here to let you know it's just not your time yet to get to the best level in your life. It's not your time yet to have that success story. Who says that you can't struggle a little bit? Who says that you can't stumble? Do you realize your best stories are the ones that you triumph from? Do you realize that the time that you're falling down and having the ability to get up is the best time to celebrate? Because that's when you know there is something good about you. There's something special about you. There's something unique about you. I'm going to lose some battles, but I'm not done. I'm going to get pushed back a few times, but I'm not done. This is an opportunity for me to get stronger, to get better. To recognize that I do have work to do because I am a work in progress and as long as I'm living I'm progressing in this world as long as you're living you are progressing in this world so struggle as much as you need to but keep working through your struggles don't have regrets because the regrets are only going to make you feel less of who you are. We are not meant to always have a good day. But this is a day to celebrate breathing, to celebrate life, to celebrate another day, to carry on the good fight. And that's what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. We are fighting every day of our lives. So don't feel that you have to feel regret because things are not going the way you want them to go. Sometimes what you want ain't gonna always be what you need. We have to realize that it's just not your season. And we all got a season. We all gonna live and someday Physically, we're going to leave here. But while you're alive, just keep living your life. Start understanding that these things that you are dealing with are necessary. Because we have to go through it. Sometimes those things that you're trying to build up, they can crumble right before you. Many opportunities will be given and many of them will be taken away. Sometimes being different can be very difficult. 
And that's when you got to dig in a little bit deeper in yourself. That's when you got to open up your eyes and open up your heart and have an open mind that you are unique, that you are special, that you do make a difference, that you are touching somebody's life. So don't be ashamed. Don't have regrets. Just live. Just make life better. Get knocked down, just keep getting up again. Because if your heart is beating, you're not dead. You're alive. You're breathing. You got a little bit more fight in you. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior. Discipline is a foundation to life. Don't say you can't, don't say this is gonna happen, don't quantify it and say, well, if I show up, this better happen. Just show up and put the work in. That's it, man. get up early, do some kind of workout, eat good foods, clean your room, make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life, and then wake up in the morning and do those things. That's what discipline is. Discipline, focus, practice, yeah. suffering, push, push, push. And then all of a sudden, you get better and better and better. So be careful that your routine is pointing to where you're trying to get to and you're not wasting time. So I'm looking at Warren Buffett. He says he reads six hours a day. It's not a complicated process, but it, it, it definitely requires uh, discipline. It requires insulating yourself from popular opinion. You just, you simply cannot, you can't pay any attention to it. It just doesn't mean anything. So you gotta have a goal. You gotta have a dream. You gotta get hungry. And then you gotta get real disciplined. Because motivation will get you going. A speech will get you fired up. But discipline is going to give you the power to stay committed to whatever that goal is. You need to make the most out of every situation, which means you need to discipline your mind. Stop making excuses. Get after it where you are right now and repeat after me. I am in control of my destiny. Find that self-discipline and stop making excuses and stop depending on other people to bail you out. You've got more fight in you. You've got more strength in you. You've got more wisdom in you. There is no time for excuses. And most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. It's the disciplined, desperate, dangerous mentality. And I don't care who you are. I don't care where you come from. I don't care what your story is. At the end of the day, you can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then you can do them. I'm not trying to be party no more. Now it's time to create a legacy now. You had your fun. Now get to work. Now build a legacy. Because if you're not disciplined, then there is no business that can be done. You want to be more disciplined? Get after it. For many times I was laughed at and not believed in, but it was still a kid with a dream and a belief in himself. I feel I still have room to improve. I still set goals for myself to strive for. Uh, I'm never complacent with what I've achieved. We have money, we have everything, we have fame. But the most important thing is the family. Keep your family healthy, good, and take care of your family because this is the most important thing in the world. Failing to prepare was preparing to fail. The night before a game, I ate the same food. I went to bed at the same time. I got up, I ate the same breakfast. Some people call it superstition, but it's a routine. I went on the courts with just a ball and a racket and a hoe. Because you might be actually not feeling great physically or mentally, you're drained, but the confidence somehow gets you through. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have confidence, that's then when you have to um, sort of trust all the hard work you've done and you have to keep on working hard so success comes back. I make mistakes, 
but I strive every day to be a perfectionist. Set yourself a definite goal and work hard toward that goal. And don't let anything or anyone stop you in the process, no matter what it is. I didn't really care about the standings or you know the perception of my style or whatever, as long as I could keep learning these new tricks. And so, as I was successful in competition and and winning a lot of the events, my job was just to keep getting better. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. People perform better when there's no safety net. People perform better in sports and everything else if you don't have a plan B. We were down 1-0. If you walked into our locker room at halftime, you thought we were up 3-0. Nothing external can, can, can defeat the internal. The only thing that can take someone down or break you down is internal. Nothing external is strong enough. You just never give up because you never know what can happen. You never know who you can inspire and um, who you can influence. I'm not going to go out and say I'm the greatest this or that. I, I just, I was a kid with a dream. That's it. You have to fail in order to climb that ladder. You are fighting the greatest fight of all times. And I fought because I knew it was not going to be a losing fight. It couldn't be a losing fight. You know, as long as you believe in what you're doing and you're doing things you love to do, then you can go out there and be the best at it. And that's, uh, you know, that should give you a lot of enjoyment and fulfillment in your life. Now well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. I want to skip the flattery and the attaboys, because I do know this. The sooner that we become less impressed with our life, with our accomplishments, with our career, with whatever that prospect is in front of us, the sooner we become less impressed and more involved with that and these things, the sooner we get a whole lot better at doing it. Oh, it's Explorers, pioneers, not caretakers. Now, why do you pursue things that scare you? Why seek the role that's hard? Because it costs me something. Because it costs. It comes with a price. It's not really a risk unless you can lose the fight. I feel more alive in them. I have an experience in the making of them. I'm nervous every day I come to work. I hear things you can get away with in this world and everything you can't. Life is not easy, it is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair, it never was, it isn't now, and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it, get on it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. I feel like when I nail a day and I knock it, and I know I did, I feel like, yes. I, get, I, I have a measure at the end of the day of like, you set out to do something, you prepared for it, you had intention, and you did it. That gives me gratification. That makes me feel, gives me significance. That gives me confidence. So be brave, have courage, and when you do, you get stronger, you get more aware, you get more respectful of yourself and that which you fear. I want to talk about our opponent this afternoon. They're bigger, faster, stronger more experienced and on paper they're just better and they know it too but I want to tell you something that they don't know they don't know your heart what could
I was heading out there, what I feel like I was born to do. And it excites me. <laughs> Just because you can? Nah, come on. It's not a good enough reason to do something. Even when it means having more. Be discerning. Choose it because you want it. Do it because you want to. It's on you. It's on you. I'm gonna grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day. I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. Let me tell you this, the wolf that is on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf that is climbing the hill. And so you got to get hungry and you have to stay hungry. You have to guard your hunger. I need you to develop a healthy dose of self-assurance. When you feel like you can't, when you want to let go, when you are surrounded by doubt, fear, and anxiety, you are going to have to pull up your resume and remember all of the things that you have made it through. There is no excuse for not living up to the, your fullest potential. No excuse. What do you want? Somebody told you to just graduate high school, graduate college, get a job, work that job the rest of your life, have kids, get married and die. Somebody told you that. What do you believe you were destined to do? And then you gotta spend every single solitary day for the rest of your life going after that dream. What do you have to have? What is your dream? And when you think there's nothing left in the tank, look yourself in the eyes and say, I can, I will, I must. The nightmare is to reach our 60s, our 70s, our 80s, or even our deathbed and to talk about everything we should have done. I should have done that. I should have invested in this. I should have made the relationship work. I shouldn't have got a divorce. We sit around and talk about all of our shoulds. We talk about all the things we wanted to do, but never got it done. That, that's the nightmare. That's the nightmare that we all must avoid. This is the time to establish your dream. All of the pain, all of the trauma, Everything you have experienced, the turbulence, you have to garner up all of that hunger. I'm talking about you got to think of everything you've ever wanted in your life and you got to put it toward that goal. And there are things that you have been called to do that no one on earth has ever done. The moment has come. There will be obstacles that you must face. At the perfect time, you're going to see elevation in your life. I'm coming after everything you said I couldn't have. The number one thing you have to do is make up your mind that you are no longer going to live in the pain of the past. Your reality of me is that I'm not quick enough. I'm not fast enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm not linear enough. This is your reality. My reality of me is that all I have is all I need. And for each obstacle, it will represent something about you. Your greatest victories, your greatest failures. You must rise above it and you must conquer every obstacle that comes your way. Anytime it got hard, especially in basketball, I just say, hey, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop. I will not allow worry or fear to sabotage this moment. Give yourself some time off, you know? Like, don't, don't even crush yourself to the point where you can't do it. Make it so that you really appreciate those Tuesdays and Thursdays. But on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're going to get after it, and this is what you're going to do. Sometimes your timeline is off. True success, 
True greatness takes time because when you let something takes time, then you can handle it. Imagination encircles the world. Fantasy is not nothing. People who dream and those people who dream big have a different kind of life than the people who don't dream. I have too much to accomplish to be satisfied with where I am right now. I have too much on the line. I have too many people depending on me to win. I must stay hungry. The, what the relentless system does, it's a mindset. Before you have an exceptional skill set, okay, you have to have the right mindset. The fighter jet mentality is that someone who is just determined, relentlessly obsessed in achieving an outcome in the face of all adversity. I've always had this relentless mentality. And if you say I can't do something, if I fail, if I you know, mess up, it just motivates me even more. I just become even more hungry. You've got to start with that belief in your mind. I've got this. I can do this. I can conquer this. The relentless are unstoppable. I didn't want to have to say, I wish I would have done more. You got to put yourself in that cage. I switched my mind to something else. I switched my mode into something else. It's go time. But the difference between me and most people is you might be sweeter than me. You might be bigger than me. You might grind. Listen to me, I don't know. You might have money. I don't know where you come from, but you will not outwork me. When I'm in that cage, bro, don't touch me, don't talk to me. All in, emotionally and executionally, in theory and strategy and in execution. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. When you're sitting there, you're trying to sell your product, you're making phone calls, you're giving a lecture, whatever it may be, you're driving a bus, you're a doctor, whatever it may be, the stronger your mindset is, the greater your skill set is going to be. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? They start their school on Monday morning watching me. They ain't got a daddy. They daddy in jail. They don't have a brother. Their brother's in jail. They all I got. You don't understand. My son's at Michigan State, and I pay for it cash. My daughter wants to go to Harvard. You don't get it. My sister just had a baby, and she ain't making no money. A game. All I got is an A game. I ain't got a B game. I ain't got a C game. When I finish, people are relying on me. Some of y'all, when you get on the field, you forgot what it was like when you was hustling in high school playing ball. When you were in college, hustling to get to this point. If you want something, you've got to be relentless. You've got to decide, I deserve this, and I'm going to have it. And you go all out to get it. At the end of the day, we're all gonna struggle. I struggle, but I didn't quit. And that's what I encourage a lot of people to do. Just don't quit. Just, just don't give up, that's what I would say. People are gonna judge you, they're gonna misunderstand you, they're gonna gossip about you, but I, I encourage people to really be strong-willed, to, to know that their opinions don't matter. Uh, their opinions are not your problem. Some people are able to really uh, rise above and beyond um, their circumstances and there are some people that can't handle it but that doesn't mean that they can't be great they just have to approach it and deal with it the way that they feel uh, needed no matter what is said or done do not doubt your worth there's 200 people or 150 people that start the class there's a hundred helmets of people that quit grown men whose dream it was to be a seal that get there that did all this physical training and all this preparation and signed that dotted line and committed to six years and they show up there and they get to that training and they ring that bell no one knows who's going to make it through that program the only way to know what's in the core of a human being is to rip that thing apart and see what's in there and until you rip it apart and see what's in there you don't know What does it take to not ring the bell? Don't quit. 
People always ask me, what, what should I concentrate on? Dude? What's what's your advice for me going to buds? Like, don't quit. Don't quit. Like train hard, don't quit. There are going to be times that you're going to just struggle and you're going to be tired and you're going to be weary and you're going to want to quit and you ain't going to have nothing left. But you still got to carry on. Live your life, ladies and gentlemen. Be excited about life. Regardless of the struggles, regardless of the circumstances, get excited about being above ground and not under it. Walk with your head up high and live your life. How many of you have been in a competition where you pushed yourself and you worked so hard and you pushed everything you had within you and then you got so close to the finish line, your legs gave out. You didn't have nothing else left in your legs. You couldn't run a little bit further. You couldn't pedal that bike a little bit faster because you had nothing else left. That's when the grinder must come out. That's when you got to dig a little bit deeper. That's when you got to go out there a little bit harder than you've ever done in your life. So you always find yourself starting off on the right path. You start off, you're feeling good, you're running, you're doing everything that you need to do. But it starts to get harder. Things starting to push you back. Life starts to push you back. People start to push you back. Everything around you starts to crumble. You have nothing else left to give. But then you got to find something else. You got to turn on that grind switch. You got to get down and dirty and nasty if you got to. You got to do what necessarily is going to take for you to get what you want. And you got to go out there with everything you got. For every moment that you have, this is the chance to do it. Just keep on grinding. I want you to take a long, hard look at the people you surround yourself with. You can't expect to become a millionaire when you're hanging out with drug addicts. You cannot expect to become the absolute highest level version of yourself if you surround yourself with people that never want to see you do better than them. Wake the fuck up. The goals that you want to achieve in your life are your f***ing goals and nobody else's. Hundreds of people give up on their goals on a daily basis. And it's usually because they realized quickly after starting their journeys that they're alone. Nobody's waking them up in the morning. Nobody's pushing them when they start to make excuses. And nobody's patting them on the back when they hit a milestone. So whatever you want to achieve in life, maybe it's losing a certain amount of weight to become the best version of yourself. Maybe it's building a business to provide financial freedom for your family and to travel the world. Or maybe it's just being a better father, mother, or partner for your spouse. Whatever it is, it's all on you. And the quicker you realize that nobody's going to come and hold your f***ing hand through life, through this journey, the faster you will start to see success. Stop relying on outside sources of inspiration, motivation, and support to f***ing get you there. Put your goddamn head down and take charge of your f***ing life. And this shit's gonna mess with your head, but sometimes this means you need to let go of the people that you think are your closest friends. This means you might have to let go of the people that are the closest family members to you. You might have to let go of your mom, or your dad, or your brothers, or your sisters, or that best friend you've had since first grade. They might not be bad people, but you need to understand that some people just aren't meant to be in your life long term. They're not meant to help you get to the highest level of yourself. 
If every time you go to better yourself, somebody hits you with a line like, why would you want to do that? You need to find another social circle. You need to make a shift and surround yourself with people that challenge you to grow. You gotta surround yourself with lions. You gotta surround yourself with fucking wolves. With people that are gonna push you to be the absolute best fucking version of yourself. The people are gonna push you to your absolute fucking breaking point. Because you can only grow when you're uncomfortable. I don't know about you, but I would much rather be a unique fucking wolf in a field full of sheep than a sheep blending in with the others. If you hang around sharks long enough, it will transform your mindset, and I promise you, you will be like a shark. You will think like a shark. And you can't go backwards, and if you stop swimming, you will die! And don't you ever forget that the rest of your life. Don't you ever stop moving. Don't you ever go backwards. I know what it feels like to sit on a bench. I know what it feels like to get knocked down. I know what it feels like to have a hope and a dream. And nobody believes in it. I, I wish I didn't quit. I wish I acted better. I wish I didn't get kicked out of school. I wish I didn't give up on my kid. I wish, I wish, I wish. That is regret. There's still... What are you working on right now? Because sometimes in life, all you got is that one thing. God gave you one thing to do. That's all you got is that one thing. I know life will knock you down. I know life can be tough, but you are on a journey. You know, my dad would say, go get it, son. Go get it. Be sweet, baby. Be sweet. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet, baby. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet. Be sweet, baby. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet. Be sweet, baby. Every time I left the house, my mom would say, be sweet, baby. Be sweet. My dad would say, go get it, son. Go get it. Go get it, son. Go get it. Be sweet. 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 You got to be ready to fight and bounce back. Punch and counter punch. Jab and jab back. Let me tell you something. Life is a series of fights. The worst thing you can do is run away from your fights. In order for you to rise up, you better take your game to the next level. Your mindset needs to go to the next level. Your information needs to go to the next level. Your relationships need to go to the next level. To be a shark is about how you move, how you operate, how you navigate. You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and follow through. Fighting for your future. Fighting for your dream. Fighting for success. When you come over depression, you raise your arms like a chip. When you overcome bankruptcy, raise your arms in victory. Don't you ever lose hope. Don't you ever give up your mindset. Sharks are powerful creatures. You gotta think different. You gotta be different if you wanna be at the top of your food chain. So how does a lion become the king of the jungle? His mentality. You have heard it said that lions are the king of the jungle. 
But have you ever stopped and asked yourself, why? How can he be the king of the jungle? If he's not the biggest, the elephant is probably one of the biggest. He can't be the fastest because that's a cheetah. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does a lion become the king of the jungle? What separates the lion from the rest of the animals that crowns him as the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. It's the way a lion thinks. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant thinks run. The animal kingdom respects the lion more than any other animal in the jungle. You see, lions hunt during storms, and they do most of their hunting at night. They hunt during storms because the noise and the wind makes it hard for prey to see and hear them. That's the lion's mentality. And it's all mentality. Lions walk around fearlessly, and they are in charge of their own destiny. I'm going to need you to tap into your lion mentality and conquer your territory. You do not have to be the biggest. You do not have to be the smartest. You do not have to be the fastest. But you must adopt the mindset of a lion. Have the love for your grit. Have the love with every rep that you push out. It is up to you to get the most of everything that you work so hard for. What is the lion's mentality? Fearless courage, bravery, leadership, never willing to surrender, and will fight unto death. Do you have a lion's mentality? Are you prepared to work? Are you prepared to dig? You got to fight. You got to push. You got to give everything you have. All you need is the power, the strength, and the tenacity to give it everything you got. Maybe you're just buried in debt, bills. Maybe you need to stand up for something you love or believe in that others don't understand. Don't stop. Do not give up. Do not give in. Be courageous. Be fearless in going after what it is you want to manifest in your life. Maybe you have tried time and time again and nothing has worked. Maybe you have become discouraged because you have been on the hunt for your goals for years with no rewards. Let me share something with you. Lions only hunt two hours a day and speak the other 16 to 20 hours. A lion knows within those two hours, they have to give it everything that they have and everyone better get out of their way because they're going to destroy anything in their path. You must keep hunting. You must keep fighting. I choose to live by choice and not by chance. I choose to make changes and not excuses. I choose motivation over manipulation. I choose to excel and not compete. I choose self-esteem over self-pity. I choose to listen to the voice from within versus the voices from without. I choose to fulfill my destiny I choose to get the job done. I choose to finish what I started. No fear, no hesitation, no surprise, no doubt. Free yourself from the debilitating disease of fear. It has manipulated you long enough it has tranquilized your faith. The fear of inadequacy. The fear of uncertainty. The fear of failure. The fear of not finishing. The fear of rejection. The fear of missing out. The fear of change. The fear of losing control. The fear of being judged. The fear of not being liked. The fear of something bad or traumatic happening fear of getting hurt. Many of these fears have left us in a state of paralysis, unable to move forward, unable to achieve. The time is now. Once you conquer fear with faith and love, there will be no hesitation, there will be no surprises, and there will be no doubt in 
the face of adversity, you will be certain that in the end, you will. They think I'm crazy. They think I'm out of my mind. They think I'm just a dreamer. They've always underestimated me. See, they think I'm beaten. They think they've broken my spirit. They said, ain't no way he's gonna get up off the mat this time. He's done. They expect me to quit. They expect me to give up. They're waiting on me to wave that white flag. They think I'm all defeated. They can't wait to laugh at my demise. They can't wait to see me fall. They never believed in my dream. Yeah, they thought those death threats would scare me. <laughs> I'm immortal. Haters tend to write their history in pencil. This way, if you ever blow up, they can erase their actions and pretend that they supported you all along. But that ain't gonna work with me. Cause I remember what you did. How the spirit of Jezebel got in you to try to break me. You were too stupid to see that the enemy was using you. As you crushed me into a million pieces, I just got stronger. Trials and tribulations are just chaotic voids begging to be penetrated by the power of the mind. The stumbling block of man is its ignorance as to where God's power truly resides. He looks externally for the keys to his freedom, not knowing that the means to his liberation is already within him. One must die to the knowledge of limitations in order to rise above it. I am immortal. A million times you have tried to discourage me and rate me with your small mind. I die to the silly ways of your conformity and I have learned to thrive in the midst of chaos. Who cares anymore about your little opinion? It's what's in me that's going to make me not take me to the river of enlightenment. Cast your indictments as the water acquits me. I am immortal. Why do you look to the sky for what's already in your heart? David's God is living within you. The ancient scriptures are the key to liberation, but reading them with mortal eyes has caused you to make a prison of them. Begging, confused with prayer, gibberish, sold as faith, citizens of the world all synchronizing in chaos. His daddy sits there on the throne of silence. What hurt me then shall pay me now. What broke me then shall make me now. Each failed relationship has the power to make a legend. Like alchemists who turn heartache into literary gold. Common souls wear a mask. No tolerance for pain, but the insane fearlessly pursue the love. The genius residing in the creative makes him immortal. Invisible are the poets whose truth are eternal. First name legend, last name immortal. Doubters can't stop a person who trusts God with the sky. When you start playing the game of life timid and start believing, God will put a kind of wind under your wings that'll have you looking down on the haters. It's hard for those born in the dark to believe that there is such a thing as day. But for those who dare to dream, the sun will rise in the morning. I say for those who dare to dream, the sun will rise in the morning. Let us all burn with the knowledge of immortality. As the flame burns, death shall not see the mind of the blind. The stomach of worms shall starve forever. Her hands of age shall not touch the oblivious. Those dancing idiots shall sing to infinity. Whoever dare look into the mirror of eternity, their mortality shall low be forgotten in the arms of days. I am immortal. Greatness requires being bold enough to do something that doesn't make sense to the rest of the world. Only those brave enough to be misunderstood earn the right to be called legends. There's a reason that kings don't talk too long to peasants. Because if they do, the peasants start believing that they too are royalty. You saw my kindness as a weakness. You thought because I granted you access that you were an equal with me. But only hungry eyes can see the beauty of wisdom. Only thirsty ears can hear the voice of truth. Only the tired heart can digest understanding. Only the weak soul can swallow revelation. Champions turn every mistake, defeat, and failure into a testimony. I'm immortal. I am the voice for those who have none. 
I am the light for those born in the dark. I project the power for all the souls out there who are weak. I am the fire for those who are lukewarm. I am the passion for those who have yet to find theirs. I am the climb for those who have no stairs. I represent all the hurting souls who were told they would never be nothing. I am immortal. Motiversity. Dr. Billy Alves Brooks. And I am blessed and unstoppable. Somebody out there needs to hear this right now. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't live your dream. Tell them fine true music. Impact one billion people. This is motivational art. I am immortal. Welcome to the lose. And to God be the glory. To those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. Romans 2, 7. True desire in the heart. That itch that you have to be whatever it is you want to be. That itch, that desire for good is God's proof to you sent already to indicate that it's yours. You already have it. Claim it. A disciplined desire, whether one can curb it, is a deeper question altogether, which is what do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Most people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. If you have this burning desire inside of you, and you'll know what that feels like if you have it, you just need to go full force, block out all the negativity and everything else that is around you telling you that you can't do it. What do you believe you've been destined to do? What talents, skills, giftings, and abilities do you possess to support your desire to do it? You could literally go accomplish anything in your life if you have this extraordinary desire to, uh, to achieve them. But here's something I do know. Sometimes desire waits for a trigger. Waits for something to happen. Who knows what the happening may be? A song, the lyrics, a movie, the dialogue, a seminar, a sermon, a book, an experience, confrontation with an enemy. Whatever the experience it is, it's so valuable. You have to electrify the desire that you have. Only you know what you want. Listen to me. Only you know what you're capable of doing. Only you know what you dream about. Only you know what the next level is for you. If you want to be what you want to be, have what you want to have, do what you want to do, man, you got to have that desire. You against you. I'm letting you know that you got to make the opportunity happen. You got to be fired up. You got to be hungry for it. You got to have the desire to push yourself. It comes from not talking about I want it. It comes from having this desire, knowing that I got an opportunity. Every day I wake up, every day I wake up, I got a chance to make my dreams become reality. If you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way.